Second uh, contest of the afternoon is a um, super lightweight bout between Ben Marchby of Darlington, a decorated amateur, and Lee Connolly of Sheffield in his 81st professional outing. Straight away, Ben looks really sharp. That's the only four thing about seeing him as a kid. His dad is the uh, trainer at Darlington. Over the years, of great um, outlay of boxers. Good head movement, you know, they look nice and sharp. What I like to see, you mean, mean the job. Ben certainly gone for it. Michael Pass, the legendary uh, commentator from Bolton. I've gone to the uh, microphone a little bit too long. Delayed the start of the bout. Great work there. Well Lee did take him all his gloves. Lovely guard. Won't stand in the corner. And Lee had to go there if I was you. Was ben, it's like he means business. As I said before, if you listen to anyone that I've commented on before, you can like the box to try and prove a point. The point was going through the rounds, in my humble opinion. That you've got to go and then show the world, the boxing world especially, what you've got. Lovely left hook tomorrow. Kind of phrase when I was boxing. Don't remember having my hair cut before every fight, but these boxers are like footballers now. I think they have to have the beards done, hairs done, hair done. I think um, have a sunbed before they fight. You can't blame them because they are in the public eye. At least stand the ropes a little bit, just where Ben wants him. Ben, really sharp. First time I've seen a professional. Ben, really, really good prospect. Right, and it's two fights so far. Standing on the ropes. Nice, great first round in my opinion. So bad. Uh, enter the 
second round. Ben starts off really sharp again. Like I say, first time I've seen him, I've already am impressed. He might be able to tell me to my voice. Sometimes when I find the fight's a bit dull, I do tend to talk a little bit slower. So the pace of the fight, but I'll speed up a little bit now. Lovely shots, great shots. Like I say, the fire is a Lee Collier won't stand the ropes too much. He's got a danger of getting stopped here. Lovely shot. A little bit lower thought that one, but the three on his side just didn't see it. Still a good way of shots here from Mark to be for heading to the body. Love that backhand of his in the middle. Nice shot. Connolly not really offering much back. As I say, that catch for the right hook on the break. Yeah, he's having it all his own way. Mr. Marks Been very sharp. Composed. Spot. Good amateur pedigree. General Lino is really, really good. On his face now, reddening in. Ooh, lovely up there. Put him in that jab. Yeah, great left up backhand. He's just boxing at will. Lovely sharp punch. Oh, great. Referee just steps in. I thought he was going to have a little jump. Have a little look anyway. And the Sargison. Lead up his hands on a bit back. I've got a funny feeling. Give him a count here. Yeah. Go back, lovely. And we just said just a bit low. I'm on the borderline. Maybe he's having to keep it up. Obviously, he saw it as low as well. What a great second round. Got a little rest now. As you said, boxing and aerobics, but the fitty ride, the faster we're coming, and I look really strong, good. 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 good work by Ben Master. Tunnel there, keep moving. Nice left up by both of them. So a little bit back for Lee, thinking he knew he needed to. That's the end of round two. A much more competitive round by Mr. Tunnel But I think it's two rounds, two uh, rounds. So we enter round three for three minute rounds. We're scheduled for four three minute rounds. We can only have to step up a little bit there. Just, just catch him at will, and if he offers some apart, the referee can step in. Catch him now. Very sharp. Very good. Have a, have a star in the making here. It's really good today's show, attended by Goals of the Past. Ricky Hans here, former world champ, um, champion. Shinny Baha, so now it's Matt Bianco, Bradley Ray's here, young middleweight prospect, Ryan Oliver, and of course, Mr. VIP himself, Mr. Steve Wood, and his cameraman, Lee Hogan, aka Head of Stone. Great round there by uh, Ben again, he's uh, mixing through all the different shots, he's got a lovely jab, lovely backhand, and he's using everything he's done in the gym, which you like to see. Let me say he's not after the opponent though, he's slipping, he's switching, just in case. Just in case he fights uh, a better, better opponent along the way. Pointless, getting too idle early days. Mm. We make mistakes, great work. Conley got him by the left up. Um, I think Ben was as surprised as me. 
Ronnie Snell is now on the front foot, Mr. Connolly. Nice left to the body, and to the head. Great movement, head movement too. It's Barnum and uh, giving him advice to do. Although when you're in there you don't tend to hear it. You sort of mind on the job, lovely backhand there. It's looking well, tough man, Mr Conroy. He's eight to first fight. Ready comes from uh, and Mark's back in his third professional fight. And I do look forward to seeing his continuing career and see how he goes on. Oh, well, last seven the third round, three in the bag. For Mr. Marksby of Darlington. Fourth oh, and final round. Lee Connolly of Sheffield. Early on I thought um, Ben would probably stop him, but it was like, he's uh, weathered the storm. And uh, it's a pay day. And uh, here's the fight next week. Well, obviously after Christmas now. Have a break for the festive period. Steve Wood has put on 16 boxing shows this 3rd of September this year. 27 debuts and 60 and new 64 fighters. I mean, a lot, a lot of boxers in the northwest and around the country now are using Mr. Steve Wood, who was my boxing manager and promoter back in the 90s. When I had some, uh, ooh, lovely right up. What happens when a fighter like Lee is not throwing much? You do get a bit complacent, and then when they throw one. Say you're quite shocked because you're not used to throwing them, so I say Ben has to be careful. We'll be left up again. He's got the ropes, great backhand. Just done it, he's got a great chin on him. Lee Connolly. And Ben is stepping up, a bit run on the back there. Referee charges and sold him around the back. Be on the target area, which is on the sides of the body, full of a great back on there. What a tough man Mr. Connolly is, and he's come back fighting. Love it, try left up to body. Great final for our here. Right here, Ben Martin. Lee's played his part in this. Very, very tough man. He still wants it. He's burned his money today, though. Let's then sell out the Jolly Boys Christmas Bonanza. Uh, Mr. Andy Farm was just turned up, they're bringing the, the, the dancing girls. As he has done over the last 20 years. First time we've got a break in the fourth round. You can see a, a good fight is when the referee didn't have to do much. All the old in and a couple of times now in this round as I speak. But apart from that, we've not only Mr. Darren Sardishin. Pieces there to watch the boxing. The boxing will be good. As I say, a great performance by Ben Markham, but Lee Connolly has played his party. Part of the pressure on it. That's good. If you're watching the fight, you can obviously see the quality shots by Mark Spray. That just has your biomechanics and you train as a kid. Same night. 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 Same night.
For all boxing info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.